for you guys today and I am just so happy to be back I was sick and I felt like I've been away from you guys for so long but I'm back and ha ah, it's another Bobby Boss wig you guys another one DJ Cali voice <laughs> And this wig is brought to you by Hair So Fly. Thank you so much, Hair So Fly, for sending me this wig. I will sure to see the link below to this wig, their direct store, and also their wig blog. So let's get into it. So the brand of the wig that I have today is Bobby Boss. I have one of their premium synthetic wigs. The style of this wig is MLF 171 Darby in the color 99J. It also states that this wig has a handmade C part that is natural about three and a half inches deep. It also states that this it also states that this wig is heat safe. Um, it doesn't say the amount of degrees, but I'm guessing it is 400 degrees. And let's get into it. So like always, I love to show you guys what the wig looks like straight out of the package. I actually have the same color as the model on the stock card. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the package. The curls are very nice. It comes really nice. Really, really pretty. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the color. It's 99J mixed in with black it's really pretty the texture of this hair is on the coarse side it has a light coarse feeling to it but it's still soft the lace that you get with this is swiss lace the parting comes on the right side also on the inside of the wig you have two combs on the front by the temple one right there one right there you have another comb in the back with your adjustable straps. And this is the way the parting comes. Uh, I think I'm going to go in and definitely pluck that. As for the luster on the wig, the luster is very nice. Um, it looks a tiny bit shiny, but not too shiny. It's shine that I could rock with. I don't know if a lot of people will be comfortable with this shine. But I don't have any sham dry shampoo to go in with it, so the shine is going to have to stay. So I'm just going to go ahead, do the parting, and come right back to you guys. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like on my head. I didn't do anything to the curls yet. I'm debating on what I want to do, but it's really cute. Like a nice dinner wig or something, a fancy dinner or something. It's really cute. Um, so let me turn around for y'all. <laughs> to do this wig is so cute this is so cute so first i'm just gonna finger comb it and see how i like if not if i don't like it with the finger combing um i'm gonna go in with a wide tooth comb and comb it out so let's see what i'm about to do
So I really like this wig. It's just these little things right here is bothering me. And I don't want to cut it and then look like a lady from like back in the days, a house mom or something. Let me see if I keep playing with it and just shake it out and see what will happen. Hmm. Let's see. Let me see how the model has it again. Oh, I see. I think I'm about to cut this. It's just bothering me, but then I'm not sure if I should. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it. If I make a mistake, at least y'all learn from me. Uh, that's more better. I feel so retro with this style, like so back in the days. It's really pretty though, especially if you're going somewhere like really fancy. It's really, really gorgeous. I love the feathering and the texture is really, really nice. I also love the color, the little hints of burgundy in it. It's very, very pretty. It's not, a, not much of a loud color. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still sick if I sound a little funny to you guys. So let me just turn around for y'all again. If you like it and you get this wig, you could keep the little long things at the end. Okay, all right, because I know a lot of you might come after me like, Ew, why did you cut it? I wanted to cut it. Gosh. Anyway, so <clears throat> I think it's like it's just so cute. Like it is really gorgeous, especially if you're going like somewhere fancy. The curls is really nice. This hair is really flowy. <laughs> Hey, ho, yes, yes, this wig is so cute, I am not going to lie, it is really cute, and it's a really thick, it's not too thick where it's like, just like hiding my face, and it's just like really thick where it comes off a wig, like a wig, it looks really thick and natural like it could be my real hair. As for the color, I really love the little hints of burgundy mixed in with the black it looks really pretty like really really gorgeous you guys in my opinion it looks really nice like little highlights okay Bobby boss Bobby boss just not stopping you guys like oh Trey where y'all at because Bobby boss just been killing this game like the whole summer so far like wow come through Bobby boss Anyway, like I said, it's really thick, but it's a natural looking thick. As for the curls, um, you have two options. You can leave this wig on a mannequin head so the curls could stay nice and fresh every day. Or what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, um, the same way it comes in the box, I'm going to put it back in the box and make sure I put the net around it and all the paper back in the head. Just so it could keep the frame of the curls, but you can't just throw it in the box, you have to lay it like how it came in the box you guys if you want to keep the curls nice and fresh as for the size on this wig the size is like an average size does it stretch it does stretch if you have a big head if you have a small head honestly you just gotta have to crisscross the straps as for the shine i think the shine is really gorgeous it makes it look like you just got your hair freshly done and they added like some olive oil sheen spray or something to your hair the feathering is very, very beautiful. It is so nice, you guys. Like, really nice. I totally recommend this. Especially if you're looking like for something cute and fancy. Like, this wig is so bomb. Bobby Bush is... I just can't, Bobby Bush. I just can't. And you know what's funny? Because I have, like, four more wigs here for you guys. And they're all Bobby Bush. Like... 
I really love Bobby Boss. Keep doing y'all thing, you guys. Um, as for tangling, when I was running my fingers through it, I got zero tangling. As for shedding, I got a little bit of shedding, and I think mostly that shedding came from the plucking, but nothing too major. It's just really good wig. I really recommend it. Um, that's all I pretty much have to say because there's really nothing bad to say about this wig. Like, it's gorgeous. The only bad thing I had was little pointy things at the end, and I handle it. So, yeah. <laughs> As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Later, you guys.